Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video, we're diving into the world of electric vehicles. And it's not just about NEO's impressive third quarter numbers. There's something brewing that could change the game. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of whether NEO is truly exploding and if Tesla is losing the war. But before we unravel this, if you're ready for some mind-bending insights, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive in. Alright. Let's cut to the chase. Neo stock is on a rocket ship right now. Why? Well, they just dropped their third quarter earnings and the numbers are turning heads. Deliveries? Up a whopping 75% year over year and 136% sequentially. Revenue? A cool 47% increase to $2.6 billion. But here's where it gets interesting. The vehicle margin took a bit of a dip to 11%, down from 16.4% last year. But don't let that worry you just yet. The net loss. It did go up 10% year over year, but it dropped a solid 25% sequentially. So, there's a mixed bag here, and it's got investors paying close attention. Now, let's talk about the big twist. According to a Reuters report, NIO might be spinning off its battery manufacturing unit by the end of this year. Hold on. What? Yeah, you heard that right. This isn't just a shake-up. It's a potential game-changer. Why is this a big deal? Well, first, let's rewind a bit. NIO was all set to produce its own batteries in-house. But now, they're saying, nah, let's outsource that. The timing of this spin-off news isn't a coincidence. It aligns with NIO's recent revelation that in-house battery production might not boost their gross margin over the next three years. So, what's their game plan now? The buzz is they're looking to cut costs, boost efficiency, and... Oh yeah, become profitable. This could be a pivotal move that reshapes NEO's strategy and of course, its stock trajectory. Hold tight, we are not done yet. NEO just dropped some fourth quarter guidance and it's got analysts doing a double take. Revenue for the December quarter is expected to be in the range of 16.1 billion yuan to 16.7 billion yuan, with a year-over-year -year growth between 0.1% and 4%. Now. That's not exactly what analysts were expecting. But here's the kicker. NEO plans to deliver between 47,000 and 49,000 vehicles in fourth quarter, marking a year-over-year -year increase of 17.3% to 22.3%. CFO Steven Weifang is optimistic, expecting the vehicle margin to rise to 15% in the fourth quarter. For 2024, NEO is targeting a vehicle margin between 15% and 18%. Now, let's zoom out a bit. NEO is on a quest for profitability, and that means optimizing operations, cutting costs, and boosting efficiency. The EV market in China is fierce, with Tesla, BYD, Xpeng, and Li Auto in the ring. NEO is making tough calls, trimming its workforce by 10%, and re-evaluating projects that don't promise financial rewards in the next 3 years. This isn't just about NEO, it's about surviving and thriving in a market where even the big players are feeling the heat. But why is this happening now and what's the big picture for NIO? Well, the rally NIO share started with its third quarter results. Revenue might have been slightly lower than expected, but the reduced loss and improved bottom line compared to second quarter had investors cheering. And then, the bombshell, the news of NIO spinning off its battery unit. This move isn't just about cutting costs, it's about focusing on what NIO does best and letting someone else handle the battery game. It's a strategic shift that's making investors bullish. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Tesla. NIO is often seen as the Chinese contender to Tesla's throne. Tesla, the EV king, has its hands full with BYD determined to snatch its crown. BYD, not only challenging Tesla with affordable EVs, but also boasting better gross margins. And guess what? Tesla reported its worst earnings in two years in its latest report. The EV market is a battleground and NIO is positioning itself strategically. Here's the kicker. Investors aren't just excited about NIO's stock surge, they're excited about the potential of this spin-off. NIO buying batteries from Cattle? Old news. NIO spinning off its battery unit? That's a potential game-changer. Investors see this move as a way for NIO to significantly cut costs, edge closer to profitability, and, of course, grab the attention of those who believe in the EV market, especially in China. This isn't just about NEO, it's about the broader dynamics of the EV market. Now, let's talk about the big question. Is NEO really stealing the thunder from Tesla? 
Tesla, once the undisputed ruler of the EV realm, is facing challenges. BYD is breathing down its neck, and the recent earnings report doesn't paint a rosy picture. So, is NIO positioning itself to take the lead in the Chinese EV market? This spin-off move could be a game-changer, making NIO more nimble and focused. But remember, the stock market is a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs. The recent surge in NIO stock might be fueled by optimism, but it's essential to stay vigilant. The EV market is dynamic, and what's true today might not hold tomorrow. So, if you're considering NIO as an investment, keep a close eye on the developments. Let's talk numbers, because at the end of the day, that's what the stock market is all about. NIO's third quarter numbers painted a picture of growth, but the future is what investors are eyeing. Revenue of about $2.7 billion, a bit lower than expected, but the smaller loss compared to predictions and the improvement from second quarter had investors celebrating. The focus on turning a profit is clear in NIO's recent moves, laying off 10% of its workforce, deferring or cutting off long-term projects, and now, the potential spin-off. Investors are liking this focus on efficiency and profitability. Before we get into the exciting details, let me introduce you to Mumu Financial. If you open a brokerage account with Mumu and deposit at least $1 using the link in the description, you'll get a chance to draw a free stock worth up to $2000. But that's not all. If you make a net deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive not just one, but 5 free stocks worth up to $2000 each. And if you're really serious about investing, you can deposit $1000 or more and get a whooping 15 free stocks, bringing your potential earnings to a staggering $30,000. So, sign up now using the link in the description and get those free stocks. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, you might be wondering, what's the play here? Should you jump on the NEO bandwagon? Well, it's a nuanced decision. The stock market is a complex game, and every move carries risk and opportunities. The recent surge in NEO stock is attention-grabbing, but remember, there are no guarantees. Always do your research, understand the market dynamics, and consider your risk tolerance. Now, here's the scoop on what's likely to happen in the upcoming weeks. The spin-off news is still fresh, and the market is digesting it. Analysts will be closely watching how NEO executes this move and the impact it has on their financials. The fourth quarter numbers will be under microscope. Did they hit the targets? Especially with the slightly conservative revenue guidance. Investors will be looking for signals of efficiency, cost cutting, and, most importantly, progress toward profitability. But this isn't just a financial move, it's a strategic one. NEO is redefining its playbook. The EV market is evolving, and players need to adapt. NIO's focus on efficiency and profitability is a response to the changing dynamics of the Chinese EV landscape. It's not just about the numbers, it's about staying ahead in a fiercely competitive market. And now, the big question remains. What does this mean for Tesla? Is NIO really posing a threat to Tesla's dominance in the Chinese EV market? The battle is heating up, and the recent struggles of the EV giant are giving contenders like NIO a chance to step into the spotlight. But let's not forget. Tesla is a formidable force, and writing them off might be premature. So, here's the bottom line. NIO stock is making headlines, and for good reason. The spin-off news is a strategic move that's capturing attention. But, the stock market is a wild ride. What's happening now is just one chapter. The story is still unfolding, and investors need to stay tuned for the twists and turns ahead. NIO might be the rising star, but the journey is far from over. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.